Hello again everyone. The next phone on the list is a telephone from Canada. They were supplied in this country under a special range of telephones. Uh, the ones we use were obviously a modified design of the uh, genuine Canadian phone. Looking inside they were totally different. Uh, you'll, as I say you will see two different types on Flickr. It's nice to be able to refer to this because it saves me uh, stripping these down to, uh, to uh, show it on here. So I've already got them done then it's easier to, to just get into uh, a flicker and have a look. But they are different. The basic phone itself was obviously made in Canada by the same firm but we had them modified over here. I think GEC done the actual job. Uh, in my opinion it was, um, well, uh, I won't use bad language, I wasn't impressed. I have got the English made one or, or the English modified one uh, and I've also got this one which I got off of eBay and it came from Canada which is nice really because I'm half Canadian and my mother was Canadian. Unfortunately I didn't know her for, for many years. She died when I was about 11. No I was probably old, earlier than that so um, you know it's it has long memories. Anyhow let's get back to the phone. The subtle differences over here as you can see if I can focus on it is your dial. It is a typical American style dial or I should really say a North American style dial. You've got your numbers and you've got your letters. But on the O position with the majority of phones it says operator but on this model they don't. The reason being, well I say the reason being what I was told was because French is also used in Canada the French word for operator is obviously not the same. I don't know, I don't speak French unfortunately but that was the, uh, the reason given. If anyone else out there has another reason please let me know. It would be interesting but that was what was put forward. It's a standard dial, well I say standard dial nice smooth dial which gives out 10 pulses per second and it's pulse obviously because of the dial nicely made dial uh, totally different to the British ones I will have to have to, to do a little series showing the other uh, different dials but I don't want to say send you all to sleep uh, the other thing is the finger stop is in the a different position to the English phone. The English phone it's more it's more round there but it just gives you that well with the English ones it just gives you what's called a slightly longer interdigital pulse or not pulse time interdigital time so the time between each train of dialed pulses is slightly longer in the English one. Not that it makes any difference now, but that's what I used to do. The handset sits on the top. There's no carrying handle, which is a bit awkward, but it can't be helped. We turn him over. And underneath you can see that it is, it is a genuine phone from Canada. It's got Bell Canada. Turn it round again and be able to see the um, uh, Northern Telecom. Northern Telecom is the Canadian branch 
of Bell, which incorporates Western Electric in America. It's Western Electric and Bell and um, Northern Telecom in Canada. But of course, this is all changed now, isn't it? As I say, they've it's all been messed up. Um, it's like BT, we that got split up. But things happen. On here, that little button there, or little slider, all that does is to control the loudness or softness of the bell, or as the Americans say, ringer. It's a cast metal base. These outer rings, you could either have them with the foam with them on, they've done a goldy coloured one, which this one is, a white metal like a silver one, and I think a grey. And they were extras, and you fitted it on, if you took the base off, which I'm not going to do, you could pop this on, it's a bit of a fiddly job, and it gave it that little bit of extra, extra niceness. And have I mentioned the name? It's called Dawn. Dawn. And um, it was intended as like an extra phone in a posh room. A little bit big for a bedroom, but they were probably used. The dial didn't light up, so there was no internal lighting of the dial. I have. Sh I don't know why I've shown them on here, but I have got phones which the dials light up. Funny enough, I'm going through all my previous videos and I am losing some of them and we might have a visitor coming up yes which we have I do apologize I can't get away from uh, from my pussy cats why do you always jump up when I'm doing a video come on down you get anyhow that's the dawn um, uh, as I say, I can put an English version up, but the only difference would be the dial itself and um, the innards. Anyhow, I'm going to go because this cat's about to jump across and all you're going to see is one big black pussy cat. Anyhow, thanks for looking. Um, any comments, please make. Please subscribe. And... Uh, um, any information, hopefully, that I might have, try me. I don't say I'm going to know it, but I might. Anyhow, thanks again for watching. Thank you.